All right, so our summer, midsummer update. We got a lot of stuff done this last few days we've been here. We're gonna stay tomorrow too and then go home Friday. Um, let's see, quick update on stuff we planted a while ago and stuff I just planted today and this week. There's Callie. Um, all right, so we've got dahlias in these plants surrounding the edge all different colors they don't know if they're going to bloom this year or not they got planted kind of late then i've got three peppers here two jalapeno and a bell i think <laughs> one of them's not marked here's three eggplants another dahlia i love them all right, I got six tomato plants up here. We've got brandy wine, beef steak, uh, a sweetie, which is a cherry tomato. Um, I believe this is aroma. This is aroma, and that's aroma. And I got them caged and staked. Almost all of them staked. I've still got a couple more to do. Another dahlia. This is the bed that I just did. We didn't have time to get the sides on, so I just went ahead and built kind of like a lasagna garden here. Um, and I got some tomatoes in here. Let's see. Uh, this one's a delicious. This one's another beefsteak. This, I believe, is aroma. And that's a brown berry. And then. I got some squashes planted just now. Hopefully we'll get some before fall. It's an experiment. We'll see. Then these have been here for a while. Some tomatoes. I I don't know if the plant steaks are in here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, an eggplant that was here that died. <laughs> Poor thing. All right. So that's aroma. Uh, that's a beef steak. I think this is another Roma, but I'm not sure. And then there's marigolds. I believe I'm going to plant maybe carrots. Yeah. I'm going to plant some carrots in this bed. Over here are radishes gone to seed. They're giant now. Probably no good to eat. We've got some little ferny things here. Those are asparagus. So Gary bought some asparagus when he was here this spring. Just He said they look like little dead things. and uh, But he planted them and they actually lived. I don't know if they'll survive the winter, but hey, it's worth a shot, right? Let's see, there's onions. We've got uh, rhubarb, a couple of really nice plants of rhubarb here more onions and then on this side we've got some gorgeous turnips and they're doing great and we have tons of greens out of here it's just it did the they did awesome and I'm gonna plant some more for the fall my garlic however uh, I dug up a couple of bulbs a big one and a smaller one and nope they're all just teeny tiny they didn't really do much, so I'm kind of disappointed on that front. However, our potato bed, we've got, it got away from us because we weren't here, but we got two levels of dirt. We're going to try and do one more uh, before we leave on Friday morning, so maybe tomorrow we'll get another level or two even of dirt filled up in there. We'll see how it goes. Straw bale gardening, mm, it did not do well. It did not do what I thought. I really believe that it has more to do with not watering. So we're going to give it a try again next year. Uh, these bales will be highly seasoned by then, so I won't really have to worry about that. You can see, even though we put it on cardboard, um, the grass still seeded itself in because of our fields of grass. <laughs> Our uh, riding mower died, 
and there's only so much you can do with a push mower so as you can see we just do around the gardens and where we need to walk and that's basically it because I don't know about you but hand mowing three acres of field is not my idea of a good time in the summer so we let nature take its course and we're fine with it because there's beautiful flowers everywhere you look patches of wildflowers and yeah grass seed lots and lots of grass seed but hey what are you gonna do the birds love it <laughs> so where were we all right so um actually i think that's all the gardens oh there was one more here in the middle one of my tomatoes fell over i'm still working on uh staking these things but so i've got more tomatoes here two more another dahlia um there's an eggplant i believe two more peppers so that's yeah that's what's in this garden bed and uh uh, Dolly, uh, Dahlia and uh, gladiolas. Lots of gladiolas. They all came up. So anyway, um, yeah, this trip I got this bed put in. I actually plan on doing two more beds tomorrow. I'll probably do one where Callie is standing. And I'll have to push on into the, <laughs> the forest over there and uh, do another one next to this one. And, uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with the progress, at least on the gardens. I still have quite a few more plants left to plant, so I'll do what I can. Uh, let's see, chicken coop progress. We didn't get any more done out here on the run, but on the inside... Today, Gary got all of the wiring done. Um, you can see that hole. We're going to put an external um, outlet there. Because at some point, we're going to build a little, kind of like a lean-to greenhouse right here on the side. Just for spring. Oh, there's the plants. I still have left the plant. Quite a few. <laughs> Brussels sprouts and tomatoes still. Um, yeah, so all the wiring and now we're working on the insulation. Almost the whole ceiling is done. You're doing great, hon. You can see all the wiring. We got double switches there. There's going to be a light here. This is going to be, it's not a deck, like or a porch, like people might think. It's actually going to be our, our brooder and um, kind of separation quarantine area and food area. So we'll come in through this door. There'll be a, a panel for is, uh, plugs right there for the brooder area, which will be on the floor here in this corner. Uh, so we'll be able to plug the lights in. And we go in, there'll be a light up there in the middle. And then there's going to be, let's see, oh, another uh, plug right there in case we need to have heated water. That's the outside one. And there's also one more outdoor plug going out there. So that'll be outside. And yeah, then lots of insulation. It's doing good. You're doing good, Hen. <laughs> All right. Well, that's basically it. Um, you want to see the flower garden? Oh, it's awesome. We got, let's see, what do we got? Black-eyed Susans, some lilies, uh, a lot of dahlias. This thing is full of dahlias. Those are delphiniums. Which are almost gone by now. More daylilies. I don't know what this is. I don't remember. Gary bought it. Planted it. It's pretty. Um, more glads. Lots of glads. Those will be nice when they're done. And the herb garden. It's doing really well. 
mostly. This is uh, parsley. Um, this is, unfortunately, our uh, cilantro went to seed, as you can see, but that's okay. Coriander. Um, lemon basil. I mean, lemon thyme. And I love it. It's my favorite thyme. But better than common thyme or English thyme. I love it. There's some, uh, oh man, it smells so good. Uh, chives, oregano. I cannot kill oregano. All I can do is multiply it. Um, oh, and uh, rosemary, which will not survive. The oregano will. The, the thyme will. And that's it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, the chives. The chives will survive the winter. But yeah, that's... That's everything. Work in progress. Coming along. Oh, roof. Roof shingles are on. That's awesome. They're all done. It's gonna rain tomorrow. So we wanted to hurry. But, oh, there's some flowers over here. A few along the side. <laughs> and on the other side are peas. So a whole row of peas. Can't wait. Those will be good. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. It's a long one, I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> but we did a bit. And back to the Cape on Friday. So, all right. I'll leave you with a view of a, a dog lost in the tall grass. We look out occasionally, and all we see is a tail. Sometimes not even that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. This is what peace is, everyone.